DJ Hess. What is going on, guys? DJ Hess here, and I'm bringing you guys the next part of my moon gameplay, and this is the PhD flopper and equipment only gameplay. Uh, and uh, just a little recap: the rules of this are there are no uh, guns after round five, I think, or round six. Um, you have to check back on my first video of this, but I think there's no guns after round five. Starting round six, you have to be able to use only um, equipment. Obviously, knives is okay. Uh, equipment, no guns, and no mystery box. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, occasions where you can. You can pick up a death machine. If you get a drop, you can use uh, a gun on the zombie knots, and you can use a gun if you need on the... Uh, Look at that, max ammo go, yay, who, who cares about a max ammo when you can't use a gun. Um, but you can use them on, a gun on uh, the, um, what the fuck, Area 51. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to the Zombie Operations channel. I'm going to post a link here in the description uh, for their channel because they actually uh, attempted to do this channel, or this uh, challenge, and I thought it was pretty rad that they, they uh, tried it out. And if anybody else wants to try it out, um, and you guys have gameplay footage of you doing the challenge. Um, just leave uh, me a comment that you tried it out and you have gameplay footage. Um, and I will go ahead and uh, give you guys a shout out in the, in the future one as well. But you can see right here I'm on round 15. I still only have those three perks. I have th that, and, and you can see right there, PhD Flopper would save you um, in, in any way in the future. And if you, you don't, don't know, you're only allowed to have four perks at one given time so uh, it is important to have that um, perk in my opinion so choosing the four that you can use out of the eight different perks on the moon map is uh, sometimes difficult but obviously Juggernaug is uh, essential quick revive is essential on solo um, not necessarily essential if you don't have solo it would be cool if quick revive actually revived you um, on it, like so, you, your teammates wouldn't have to revive you if you were using on um, on like co-op or whatever. That would be fucking rad. But it just makes it so you revive quicker, obviously. So that doesn't really help for shit um, for the most part. And it's, it's a waste of a perk in co-op. Um, but basically, uh, but I'm just running this uh, this solo strategy that I have. If you guys haven't seen my strategy previously, go ahead and, and check um, in my description, and I'll have. A link to the strategy on how to do the PhD flopper only rounds, and you can get it's a 20 plus strategy, um, as well as I have another strategy um, for basically like a 40 plus round strategy um, with using guns. So this is this is a magical spot though. This for me at least, I know there's other spots. Um, Syndicate mentioned at the beginning at least when the first map the map first came out was out in the uh, the mule kick area, and I just I personally don't prefer. That area for running a train, I tried starting it there, but uh, it just didn't work for me. Like, I don't like the uh, the fact that there's no uh, there's no gravity out there, so it makes it a little more more difficult for you to run around. And um, I don't know, I feel a lack of control out there. But uh, so that maybe that's just me, I, and I prefer this area. Now there's other circles you can run in this dome area as well. So I'm curious how to work four players on this and what, what strategies uh, there are to, to run four players. Um, I haven't done any open lobbies for Moon, unfortunately, yet. Um, I plan on doing them in the future, but as you guys know or don't know, it's been a really, really hectic summer for me. I've had a DJ like a wedding, if not two weddings, every single weekend, from or, or I'm attending a wedding um, every single weekend through basically the whole entire summer. I had a couple mini vacations here and there, on the other weekends that I didn't have to work um, scheduled a year in advance um, but yeah so you can see right here uh, back to my point I am allowed to shoot the zombie knot I'm not allowed to shoot anything else any other zombies just the zombie knot um, and uh, the reason being is if you don't get rid of those guys it's fucking brutal it's really really difficult to continue on um, with the gameplay if if you don't kill them but uh but anyway yeah so this uh, this is the the strategy and this is what I do and and it was a, a fun challenge, as I mentioned in the other videos. And uh, again, check out the Zo Zombie Operations channel. Uh, they uh, they do some zombie gameplays, and they have some a Call of the Dead uh, like a tournament uh, of of types that they're running on their channel. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, and they're they're basically running different guns, and they're killing Romero with different guns, which is something that I did 
uh, in the past as well, and I was trying to, when, when Call of the Dead came out, I was trying to figure out what the best guns were to use, and then if, uh, like, Xcal was the, one of the first people that I saw that, that recognized that the uh, sniper was the best gun to kill Romero with, and, um, and then, of course, I tried it, and then, and, uh, and it worked great, so they're doing some sort of a challenge like that, so I recommend you guys check it out, it looks pretty fun, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will like their gameplay, um, and again, if you guys do have gameplay footage of this challenge, please just send me a message or, um, let me know in the comments below that you guys have a challenge like this, that, and you have gameplay on it, and I will post it, and, uh, yeah, I always like to do that for the subs. I did have a subscriber showcase Sunday series that I had on my channel, and I had to put it on a halt, um, mostly because again the summertime was crazy, and I needed Sundays to basically just hang out with with the wife because uh, uh, it's just shit's too busy, man. So, so hopefully I can pick that that series back up eventually and uh, start doing Sunday videos. Um, I might just do it once a month, just to make it manageable, as I've mentioned in the past, and um hoping that I can do that because it would be beneficial um, and it's nice to have my subscribers check out other subscribers channels as well uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice it's just a circle of, like our own little community of, of whatever people and uh, it's fun and it's been growing and I really think that's pretty pretty awesome as well so I'm trying to grow the channel as much as I can and uh, it's been a fun ride so far um, I think this is a unique challenge, though. I don't know if if this one's boring to you guys to watch. Um, you know, I apologize if you you don't have to watch it if you guys don't want to. But I personally find this challenge entertaining. It's definitely different, and it's one that hopefully, as the uh, the weeks go by and as everybody gets PS3s and all that other jazz, and you know, people randomly find these these videos because in naturally people aren't going to be searching the web for PhD flopper videos. And my my intention of making this video is not just for my subscribers that I have now, which uh, are badass subscribers by the way, but it's not necessarily for you folks only, it's, it's also a challenge that I have out there for other people that have not seen the video yet, and that haven't even thought of doing a PhD flopper only round. Um, I, like since Call of the Dead, I've been doing PhD flopper rounds, I've been doing um, Claymore only rounds and stuff like that, because both are extremely effective, especially on the pre round 20 um, levels or, or uh, rounds so I don't know and I, I hope that like eventually more people will see these videos and uh, and look and, and see like holy shit there's a you can use PhD flopper right here and actually kill a shit ton of zombies and I, I hopefully they'll find it like helpful um, because there's those situations where even when you do use your guns you run out of ammo and you're like fuck like what am I gonna do and then uh, and then you need to be able to do something to kill these kill these guys without being in running in another room and, and getting the mystery box and waiting for the you know the the next gun that might be a fucking sniper which is useless basically um, in in on the moon uh, at least but yeah so I I mean I ho hopefully people will find it this helpful look at that I just about failed um, and then uh, and then it'd be cool if it became a viral video but I don't see this one becoming a, a one of those videos that that on my channel that does extremely well I think it, will, it goes over pretty well but in the long term like there's other videos uh, that will get more attention because of the viral sense of the video um, and again pe people don't just go hmm I wonder if I can do a 20 round strategy on on the moon with PhD flopper only they, they, they're gonna do a search uh, for something like uh, like high round strategy or something that like that or how does the the fucking um the hacking machine work or how does what what is the new perk or what is the new gun you know the, which i have a lot of videos on that and those ones have, have generated thousands and thousands of views which is great um stuff like this is more like a little bit different it's not as easy to just go ahead and, and figure this one out um for for at least searching and i don't want to falsely advertise it so it is what it is but uh but anyway, I hope you guys like the gameplay regardless, and I know I'm kind of babbling a bit here and there, but um, knocking out another one of the commentaries. And uh, I keep going after this round, and, and uh, you'll see soon um, that there's a handful more videos after this. So uh, I'd like to go ahead and try to do this again, as I've uh, mentioned in the previous video. And uh, if I do try it again, get an opportunity to try it again, 
and uh, get farther, then I will um, let you let you guys know. But basically, again, it was just a lot of fun, man. Just running around with a claymore in your fucking hand. Uh, like, this is my uh, my weapon, the fucking claymore, and then the PhD flopper is pretty awesome. Um, and again, if you guys, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I'm fucking spacey today, sorry. But uh, but yeah, there's no mystery box either. So I could have gotten the quantum uh, entanglement device or the uh, the fucking uh, the Gersh or some shit, but I actually really couldn't because I wouldn't be able to use it because uh, well I could use it if I had it because it's equipment, but I couldn't get it because I'm not allowed to use the mystery box. So I decided to do that. I I was thinking like you know I could probably get farther if I did decide to use the mystery box, but I was like ah fuck it you know I'll just see how far I can do with just this and uh, it's hard dedicating like maybe an hour of time if not more just straight to a gameplay knowing that you can't knowing that you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage like in and potentially only making it like half as far as you you could if you didn't put yourself as, at a disadvantage because right now I have 31,000 points and that's like more than enough to you know to 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 move forward with it and look at all these drops I've been getting man insta kills double kills max ammo like uh it's it's just been nuts like you get a lot of drops when you do PhD flopper which is it does have its advantages and stuff and as you'll see like I'm in a, I'm on round 20 and it's still a one hit kill with a PhD flopper so it is very effective uh to use that and uh, I don't know just uh all in all a lot of fun so hope you guys enjoy this give it a thumbs up if you did look forward to the next part of this series and uh, I'll catch you later thanks